why there was no eruption. And uh, here I present an analysis of what happened. The seismogram showed that uh, there was a small peak. It didn't reach the level that we actually see more lava in the surface or anything at the surface. The reason is that this is a thermodynamic system what we are looking at. This shows tremors caused by the explosions of the bubbles inside the magma. These bubbles form when the magma is heated. So, as I mentioned, there is collapses of rocks inside the magma. And the magma, when the cold slab falls into it, loses heat because these slabs are colder than the magma. Magma is usually had a temperature of 1200 degrees. 1200 so it has to, to melt these slabs as they fall into it it reduces the amount of the heat available to actually create the bubbles burst them and uh, uh, causes the tremors that we see the, this uh, bursting of bubbles is the pressure that actually rises the magma toward the surface when we don't see the magma at the surface that means there was not enough pressure that means there was not enough bubbles and that means the bubbles didn't form because there is not enough heat. The magma is colder than its usual temperature of 1200. That means something has cooled it down. Those big blocks of rock falling into it has cooled it down. So that's the reason the magma didn't rise. It's a thermodynamic system. You provide the heat, the volume increases, the pressure increases, and you will have eruption. When the volume is not increased, there is no heat, it will stay where it is, it will not rise much. That's simple as that. Thermodynamism at its best. This is a plumbing system. There is that's the reason we call it plumbing system. Because everything is connected to each other and there is a heat exchange between the interior and exterior of the magma.